Okay, today is September 21st, 2013. Let's take a look at the market, and then when we finish looking at the market, we take a uh, brief look at uh, the gold ETF and the uh, silver ETF, GLT and SLV, respectively. First of all, let's take a look at the S&P 500. And if we go back and look at the weekly chart on the S&P 500, you can see uh, ever since the uh, March low uh, back in 2009, been turning kind of nicely within this particular price channel that I have here on this weekly chart and right now it is getting near the uh, you know the upper uh, uh, end of the uh, the price channel here if we uh, go back and look at the uh, daily chart we also have another price channel within that long trend uh, price channel and we see that uh, right now the S&P 500 book do this uh, uh, this level here, which is somewhere around the 1709-1710, and came up and made a new all-time high back on uh, last Wednesday when the uh, Fed decided not to taper and the market just took off. Then since the, uh, the uh, uh, Wednesday, uh, it kind of pulled back, and right now it's testing this uh, breakout level here. If we could hold above this uh, breakout level 1709-1710, then we could expect uh, the S&P 500 to uh, continue to move higher and put in a new low, I mean new high, and that could possibly move it up to the 1750 to uh, the uh, 1767 uh, you know, area. So uh, that's basically the uh, S&P 500. If it if it can hold this, we're looking for it to possibly uh, you know pull back to this uh, uh, near the uh, 20 EMA and the 50-day uh, uh, moving average, which is somewhere around this. Uh, 1680 uh, level. So there's this pivot here, this uh, you know this this particular uh, uh, level here that we could also be looking at. You know that could possibly provide some sort of support, and that particular level is somewhere around the uh, 1650. Uh, let's see what is this? Uh, 1689 and a close. Yeah, 1689, 1690 area right up here, so we could also be uh, looking at potential support in there if uh, the S&P 500 pull back. If it does pull back, then we'll withdraw our Fibonacci retracement and see what the uh, next, uh, you know, support and resistance, possible uh, support and resistance levels are. And then if we uh, take a look at the uh, Dow Jones 30, the uh, Dow Jones 30 came up to uh, this uh, 15,670 uh, area and then pulled back. It did make a uh, new all-time high. Uh, right now, it seems to be, uh, you know, pulling back and could probably uh, get down and tag this 50-day. Uh, and again, you also the 50-day and the 20, 20 EMA is uh, fairly close to each other and could be come down to uh, this level here, somewhere around the uh, 15,320, you know, where this uh, pivot high here. Uh, so, or, you know, that's uh, pretty close to the uh, moving average. And if we uh, go back and look at the weekly, you can see the weekly uh, price is, is still trending within this uh, price channel, similar to the S&P 500. Uh, although uh, right now we got a little, little bit of a shooting star here on a weekly basis, so it is getting a little bit weak. But also we got some uh, uh, replacement on the uh, Dow 30 stock, BFA, HP, and Alcoa is being uh, taken out and replaced by... Uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, Nike, and uh, Visa. So, uh, so that might, uh, you know, kind of uh, push the uh, the Dow a little bit uh, with a different weighting factor. So we have to see what the, how does that play out, and, and that's why it's a little bit tricky right now on the Dow. But if we look at the uh, Dow Jones Transportation, the Dow Jones Transportation did give a uh, confirm, uh, you know, Dow theory confirm high, all time high on the Dow Jones Industrial back on Wednesday it too make a uh, new all-time high. In addition to that, on Thursday, it made a, another new all-time high while the uh, Dow Jones Industrial did not. It actually pulled back. So uh, that kind of gives us a little clue that uh, we could possibly expect uh, the Dow Jones Industrial uh, you know, to at least make a, another new all-time high. Although the transportation is also pulling back to this baseline here somewhere around the uh, 6688, uh, 68, uh, 87, 6687 level. Uh, if it pull back, it could also pull back to uh, near these uh, 20 EMA, or possibly this pivot high here, which is uh, 6591, near that area. 
but we are looking uh, for the possibility of continue uh, moving higher and possibly get up to this 127 extension on this fifth uh, you know retracement and that would be somewhere around the 68 78 and possibly get up to the uh, 6 69 78 or 69 80 area and then if we uh, take a look at the nasdaq 100 uh, let's go and take a look at the weekly first. It too is still trending within this price channel uh, nicely, and uh, there uh, seems to be uh, much more room to go uh, before it gets to the uh, upper end of the uh, price channel, which is somewhere around that 34, 3400. And right now it's only sitting at 3224. And if we take a look at the uh, daily, on the daily, we do have a uh, another price channel inter internal, uh, you know, within the uh, long-term price channel, and that seems to be indicating that it uh, had uh, hit the top of that price channel, and also with the Fibonacci extension, it it also uh, kind of tagged the uh, one two seven, and that's up here at the uh, you know thirty two uh, twenty nine area. So I wouldn't be surprised to maybe see a little bit of a pullback and possibly uh, get back down to this uh, 3180 area before it uh, resume and maybe take out this uh, 141 or 161 area where it's uh, somewhere around the uh, 3273 and the 3336. But uh, again, you know, the uh, the NASDAQ is still look pretty strong and I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see it continue to move higher. And then finally, we take a look at the uh, Russell 2000 and uh, the, on the weekly, Similarly, you know, the Russell 2000, just like all the other indexes that we have looked at, is still trending within this price channel. And it is uh, getting close to this 1100 area where it hit the uh, top of this uh, price channel here. Uh, but again, looking at the uh, daily, uh, you know, broken out of this baseline here on this Fibonacci swing here, and this could uh, get up to this 1095, which would be the uh, 127 extension. And it too could pull back and possibly pull back and retest this six, uh, you know, 1064, and maybe uh, get down to uh, this particular pivot here, which is somewhere around 1056. Uh, I do expect it to uh, uh, see the Russell continue to move higher and uh, you know make a, a, at least another new uh, all-time high. So let's go and take a look at gold, uh, GLD, the ETF for gold here, and uh, going back to the to the weekly. You can see that uh, it came down, you know, in June and hit this low here, which is somewhere around 114.68. And we can see that there is, uh, you know, found maybe a little bit of support here, and it came back up to this level here, which is about the, uh, you know, 137.55. Uh, so we're basically still looking to see could it get back up to this level here, which is, uh, you know, got a little bit of a support resistant area here, which is around the uh, 142. And if we look at the uh, daily here, you can see that it came down, tagged this 137.55, pulled back to the 50-day, I mean the 50% retracement of the fair, and got under the 50-day. And then we got a nice big bounce here on that uh, Fed day on Wednesday. And then since then, it kind of pulled back to the uh, 618. Uh, so right now, we just want to see if it could uh, be able to bounce off this 618, which is somewhere around this 128 area. And if we bounce off and we take this uh, 132, then we could see it to come back up and tag this, uh, you know, 136, 137, and possibly move up to fill, you know, to uh, get up to this 127 extension at the 142 area, and also where the 200-day uh, moving average is uh, sitting right now. Then on the uh, silver, the SLV, the the silver ETF. Again, if we uh, take a look at the uh, you know, the weekly, it seems to be, uh, you know, found some support down here, you know, back in June, which is somewhere around this uh, this level here is uh, 1775. Came up and tried to fill this gap here, but it couldn't. And then it, we, uh, uh, you know, uh, we, we retreated back to the 50-day uh, moving average here. So if we take a look at this uh, on the daily, you can see that it came up. Try to get into this gap here, try to fill this gap here, and then pull back and sitting back down to this 50% uh, retracement. So now it's coming back and, uh, you know, testing the 50-day moving average again. If we could, if we could bounce back up and uh, reclaim this, uh, you know, this 2240 area, this pivot, then we could see it uh, try to, uh, uh, to come up and take out this 2363 and possibly 
uh, come up and fill this gap at the 25 level and, you know, essentially, uh, you know, getting back uh, above the 200-day uh, moving average. So this is it for uh, this video on the market and the GLD and uh, SLV. And uh, later on on the weekend, I will put up another video and we uh, take a look at some of the stocks. So hopefully everybody is enjoying the weekend.